Welcome back to another episode of Minute Science. What am I doing here? Let's ask a question from Google search. Why don't computers use base three? This is an interesting question. So a base is essentially a number, a value, any number of possible outcomes. Base two is binary since only values zero and one are possible. Base three incorporates a third value. Our basic number system is base 10 since we use 10 values, zero through nine, to create any series of numbers. Ideally, the higher the base, the more information can be relayed per line. But in order to understand the premise of the question, we should first briefly run through how data is transmitted today. Binary code is the most powerful language language on the planet, but it looks like this, just a bunch of ones and zeros. However, the arrangement of these digits denotes specific instructions and values. The medium of exchange in this case is the operating system encoding and decoding commands dictated by the user. A CPU utilizes up to its billions of transistors in order to process this data, hence its name, Central Processing Unit. Fundamentally, a single transistor either acts like an on-off switch or an amplifier. For all intents and purposes in this discussion, an on-off switch will do. In its open open on state, a certain voltage is allowed to pass. This is the threshold voltage. In its closed one, it does not. Electrons will still leak through a closed state, but not above this voltage threshold. Assigning one to open and zero to closed, any command could send a series of electrical signals to the CPU to be executed by the logic unit, GPU, the list goes on. So you can see why binary code and say the modern trigate transistor work together so well. You only have two possible outcomes for signal interpretation, open and closed, one or zero zero. But a signal can also be, well, half open. In comes base three, where a third state exists. The benefit of base three involves data transmission. Theoretically, the higher the base, the more information can be transmitted. But every transistor in the base three system would require a new power identifier, a way to discern between two voltage thresholds versus one. This increases the risk of error. This would require additional resources, amplified not only by the sheer number of transistors in a unit, but also extreme size constraints. Binary systems are relatively self-correcting, so as signals degrade over time and voltage fluctuations become more and more prevalent, a base 2 system won't be as sensitive to those fluctuations because the threshold is usually pretty big in comparison. But as we increase the base number to base 3, base 5, especially when it comes to something like base 10, those systems become more and more sensitive to tinier and tinier changes in voltage. Ergo, a certain value based on a specific voltage might be interpreted as a different value because of that small degree of variance. Precise engineering is only so precise, and over time, operating systems designed around higher base code would degrade as signal noise inevitably increased. So there are undoubtedly massive barriers between modern computers and higher based computation. The short and sweet answer, it would cost a lot of money and require extreme levels of engineering to design systems accurate and reliable enough to replace modern computers. We do have base 3 adaptations and a few forms of flash storage, as some on forums have pointed out, but the idea of consumer grade systems utilizing anything other than binary at this point is unrealistic. If you liked this video, thought it was cool, something new, be sure to give this one a thumbs up, thumbs down for the opposite. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos like this. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.